Hi everyone, today we're back landscaping. I'm at the shop early on this Thursday morning. We have a big project and we need to get going. Today guys, we've been hired by a local bank in town to spread 15 yards of bark mulch and we're gonna be doing it solo here. So today guys, I plan to use one of the dump trucks here but we have two part-time employees going out here. One to do a small excavation job and the other one is gonna go do some work for a gravel driveway and that means guys, both the dump trucks are in use. So we're gonna have to make do here with the dump trailer. So we're gonna use a trailer to bring the skids here to the job site and then we're gonna have to go get some material here. So let's get the shop opened up here and uh, pick out what skids here we're gonna be using. Like always guys, there's a full mods list link down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. So for today's project guys, spreading the mulch, we do need a smaller skid steer here. The smallest one we can have and we aren't really going over turf. We're going to be mainly going over the parking lot back and forth and this is going to save us a lot of time here. So I'm thinking the T76 is too big. Although the Vermeer would work, it is a, a little bit smaller. So I'm thinking, why don't we take the uh, new uh, Cat 246 here? I think this is going to work out well for us. So let's get this thing fired off on up we need, do need to grab a bucket that is one thing we need now with mulch since it is so light I am almost thinking we can bring the big bucket but I'm thinking it's probably just best for us to bring the uh, regular standard size uh, skid steer bucket here and like I mentioned guys uh, we only uh, have the dump trailer we'll be using this to get the materials but we also need to bring the skid steer over there so just make sure we're lined up here and this should fit in here no problem a little bit on the steeper side for the ramp but we'll make it work Perfect, so I'm going to put a few straps here on this and then we'll get going. We're on our way over to a job site now here. I try to get everything as uh, ready to go as we can here. That way, in the morning, we can get right to work here. Not spending, let's say, an hour at the shop here. But today, guys, we are using the Ram 3500, which I am super excited for. We picked this up, I would say, three, four weeks ago, and I've been really liking the dually with the bigger machines we've been buying and uh, with the goosenecks and things like that. Having a dually, is it's just much easier to tow with here. Having extra stability and we could tow uh, two machines even in some cases three machines now with a big gooseneck whispering here guys we have so many projects planned here i've been giving quote after quote seems like the work just keeps on coming in for us which is super exciting here and we are arriving at the job site here so i want to do a quick walk around and then we'll get this unloaded i got to run over really quickly as well to get the uh, materials here but we'll uh, quickly walk around Here's a job for today. We're going to be spreading 15 yards of mulch here at the local bank. So you guys can see out front we have this area here within the fence. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to bring the smaller skids here. There's not too much room there. We have alongside the road right here. And we have a little landscape bed over there. And then finally, there's a long landscape bed alongside the drive through area. So that's it. Let's get the machine unloaded and then we'll get it on over and get the mulch. All right, we got the skid steer there, and I did take the key with me. But like I mentioned earlier, guys, this dump trailer is perfect here. Not only can we haul machines to the job sites, we could also haul different materials, rock, gravel, mulch, and things like that here. And that is why this trailer is just so handy here for us, and why I, I almost want to buy another one here. If we do end up buying one, I most likely would uh, buy a bumper pull. That way, we could actually tow this. Uh, behind the uh, dumb truck as well here, but hopefully there's not a big line as we're trying to get supplies. This is a new landscape supply that we're going to here since we are in Middleburg, New York here. Really excited about the new map and you guys seem to be giving great feedback on it. But here we are now. They said just to pull right around back and I already gave them the company card here. So they'll just charge you. We don't even have to leave the truck, which is going to be awesome for us. A little bit of a tight squeeze. But oh wow, look at it guys. There's several things back here. Some different landscape supplies. Looks like pavers, things like that. But oh look at that guys. There's a big pile of mulch there. So let's get loaded up.
Guys, they were really quick here. Within five minutes, they got us loaded up here, which is awesome. So we got 15 yards of mulch. This is a lot of mulch here. Now, usually, guys, you would do bark mulch with probably a wheelbarrow and just a lot of crew members here. But being a solo operator here with the business most of the time here, I, I just prefer to use machines. And it saves us quite a bit of time here. Now, I do plan to do a lot of multiplayer as well. Hopefully, we could get back to that maybe early next week, sometime next week. Uh, there should be a multiplayer or two, which I'm looking forward to. Alright guys, we're pulling back into the job site now with all the mulch we need here. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to unload this into a few different piles here for us. That way uh, we don't have one big pile here and uh, uh, we can unload it where we need it here. Especially since some of this we'll be putting on the other side of the property here. Now we don't want to be taking up too many parking spots, so we'll park there. But let's get running uh, the skid steer here, get to spreading some mulch. The other cool thing about this skid steer, guys, is the pretty cool uh, beacon light up top there. That LED light bar is definitely a neat feature here. But let's see here. Is there enough room for us to get on by? Oh, yeah. There looks to be plenty of room here. Perfect. And uh, I think we'll get uh, started on the far side here. Work our way towards the pile. Just finished up there with the main mulch bed there. We are making really good progress here with the skid steer. But now we have to do a long side of the roadway. Now one thing guys, I'm going to have to watch traffic quite a bit here. Why don't we get started on the far side again. But mulch guys, especially after one year, definitely needs to be replaced here. Uh, uh, and it definitely makes the uh, front of the building definitely appear a lot better here. And luckily, like I mentioned, a skid steer really does help us on out here. I've been feathering the bucket quite a bit here. Just uh, really careful luckily though this is not a kind of foot controlled otherwise uh, I think I would be quite tired uh, uh, controlling the skids here there but like I mentioned this is the electronic controls here you guys can see almost done here Fifteen plus yards are mulch, guys. This is a pretty big job here for us. Usually, the average job is about a uh, five to six, 
and six is usually quite a bit in those areas here. Those are usually residential, but the bigger commercial lots like this always do require quite a bit more mulch here. But I will say, guys, I think this skid steer was the perfect one here for us. I was a bit worried that buying a smaller skid steer like this, we wouldn't really be using too much, especially with it being wheeled. Uh, but this thing works no problem there. So we got that one done. Why don't we do this one alongside the parking lot here? And then we only have the big, long one on the other side and then uh, we'll be on to next job. And just like that, guys, we finished that here. So we do need to unload the rest of the dump trailer here. But I want to put the pile right next to it here. I think that would be a good idea here. That way we aren't running all over the parking lot. And it is, it is a long stretch here. But this shouldn't take too long. The dump trailer is pretty quick at unloading here, but one thing though with having a lower dumping point is that you actually have to pull forward quite a bit to really unload the full trailer here. No problem, that's just one of the downfalls here, but uh, let me know down below guys, what are your thoughts here on dump trailers? I, like I mentioned, I almost want to pick up another one, that is just how handy that was here. Uh, going from dump trucks, uh, using a dump trailer as well, uh, I was almost thinking we wouldn't uh, even uh, put it to work, but... Uh, the cruise and I definitely really like it. And just like that, guys, we have completed today's project here. I just have to get out the broom, sweep up the parking lot here, and we have about a bucket and a half left. So I'm going to go around and fill in any low spots here in the mulch. But it sure did come out good. And this was our first big mulch sub of the year, which is super exciting. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.